In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and the peace of God our Father, the love of the Lord Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Marguerite Bourgeois, one of the great founders of our city here in Montreal, founders of the Congregation Notre Dame, a woman of great faith. We pray for her intercession. So begin, as we begin this Eucharist, let us acknowledge God's mercy and seek pardon and forgiveness for our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, who called St. Marguerite Bourgeois to leave her homeland so as to educate young people in the Christian life, direct, we pray, our words and our deeds, that along the very paths which lead to you, we too, by her example and prayer, may proclaim the loving presence of our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. From the book of Samuel. At the temple in Shiloh, the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord under Eli. The word of the Lord was rare in those days. Visions were not widespread. At that time, Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see, was lying down in his room. The lamp of God had not yet gone out. And Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called, Samuel, Samuel. And he said, here I am. And ran to Eli and said, here I am for you called me. But he said, I did not call, lie down again. So Samuel went and lay down. The Lord called again, Samuel. Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, here I am for you called me. But he said, I did not call my son, lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, and the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. The Lord called Samuel again, a third time. And he got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord was calling the boy. Therefore, Eli said to Samuel, go lie down, and if he calls you, you shall say, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Now the Lord came again and stood there, calling as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, speak, for your servant is listening. As Samuel grew up, the Lord was with him and let none of his words fall to the ground. And all Israel from Daniel to Beersheba knew that Samuel was a trustworthy prophet of the Lord. The word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Here am I, O Lord, to do. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As soon as Jesus and the disciples left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. Jesus came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening, at sundown, they brought to Jesus all who were sick or possessed with demons, and the whole city was gathered around the door. And he cured many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons. And he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, Jesus got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, everyone is searching for you. Jesus answered, let us go on to the neighboring towns that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came to do. And Jesus went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we commemorate Saint Marguerite Bourgeois, who founded the Congregation of Notre Dame here in Montreal, and who died on this day in the year 1700. 
Mère Bourgeois was born in France, but came to Canada to found a school for girls in the tiny colony of Ville-Marie, not very far at all from where we are celebrating this Mass. Our first reading recounts the call of young Samuel in the temple, how he hears a voice but needs the assistance of Eli to interpret it, to know that it is the Lord who is speaking. Marguerite Bourgeois had her own mystical experience in France. And following a meeting with Monseigneur de Maisonneuve, the governor of Montreal, she knew that she was called to come to Montreal under dire certain conditions at the very beginning of the colony's life. The Gospel describes Jesus healing a woman, Peter's mother-in-law, who then proceeds to serve her guests. Mère Bourgeois' life was one of constant service to the poor, to the marginalized, to Aboriginal children. She traveled back and forth from new to old France recruiting members for her new community of women who were vowed but not cloistered, women who were free to move about to serve the needs of the poor. Bishops tried hard to force Mère Bourgeois and her community to live behind a cloister wall, but she refused. Like Jesus in today's gospel, she knew what she was called to, her vocation, to teach and to care for the poor and the sick. In fact, the history of New France is marked by three extraordinary women. First, Marie de l'Incarnation of the Ursulines, then Mère Bourgeois, founder of the Congregation of Notre Dame, and finally, Marguerite Juville, who a century later founded the Grey Nuns, Les Sœurs Grises. At this Mass, and on the feast of Saint Marguerite Bourgeois, we give thanks for the extraordinary gifts of all three women and countless others who served in this city, in this province, this country, and beyond and we pray for their intercession. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray our homage and our praise on this memorial of St. Marguerite, and by this spotless and perfect sacrifice, set our hearts aflame with love in your presence, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example by communion with them, you give us companionship by their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels and saints with, and with the multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis uncelli et terra, gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine, Indeed, holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, 
glorious martyr Saint Marguerite Bourgeois, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Christian, our Bishop, Alain, his assistant Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, we pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us exchange with one another a gesture of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you, that you should enter, enter under my roof, but only Lord, say the word, and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Oh 
Let us pray. Nourished to the full by the sacrament of salvation, we implore your favor, O Lord, that by practicing charity after the example of St. Marguerite, we may come to share with her in your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue to pray for those who are affected in this time of pandemic, people who are ill, people who care for them. We pray for those who are suffering in Quebec at this time with this very cold weather. We pray that all these challenges to us, these, this moment of suffering may ultimately come to a conclusion with health and healing for all our citizens. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharist is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.